welcome back to the channel, all my hustlers and grinders and go-getters. The ones that wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I'm going to get money today. It's Mad in the JoJo and also the Julio. And we're back with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about the struggles you will often face when starting a junk removal business. So if you want to learn more, subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Now let's get this money. the first job of the day and this is a studio apartment clean out this person found us online and that's the most important thing to do when you are first starting this business is make sure people can find you online now here's something to think about when you're pricing jobs what is your time worth and remember time is something you can never get back and you're the one that spent $10,000 on that dump trailer. And you're the one paying for that commercial insurance. And them tools, those are your tools. So some I will never be is a cheap hauler. Some I'd rather do is do less jobs and make more money doing them than running around zigzagging everywhere doing jobs super cheap. So if you're booked out a whole month, I'm gonna tell you like this, you're probably a cheap hauler. And also, if you're landing every single job, I'm gonna tell you like this, you're probably a cheap hauler. So think about it, what do you wanna be labeled as? the first job is done and we got a hundred and twenty three dollar tip what a blessing huh that's awesome it's a blessing i told the julio today we're gonna manifest all this tip money coming in and guess what happened we already got a tip for the first job we did now what are we gonna talk about jojo well we're gonna talk about one of the biggest struggles when you start this business and that is getting your phone to ring it is super hard at first when you first start this business you might watch these videos and think damn mad in the julio and the jojo they're working every single day their phone must ring a lot and it does ring a lot julio how often does my phone ring a lot it awesome. rings like every single half an hour pretty much, but it don't happen like that at first. You got to put in the work to get that phone to ring. And some things you can do is... Yeah, there's lots of things you can do to get your phone to ring. And the most important thing is making sure you have an online presence. And you can do that. All that does is take a little bit of time. It's absolutely free. So make sure you are on Facebook, Instagram, and you know you can put ads on craigslist that costs a little bit of money but it gets your name out there and word of mouth is super important so let everyone absolutely everyone you know know what business you do and how they can contact you so you know anything that you can do that gets your name out there will help get your phone to ring so right now if your phone ain't ringing let's say you do a job one week maybe two jobs the next week and your phone's all crickets and you ain't hearing nothing and you're stressing out and worried about the jobs not coming in trust me i've been there before but I put in the work to get that phone to ring consistently every single day. Now I don't worry about the phone ringing. Me and the Julio and the JoJo, we got so many jobs. So something you gotta do is advertise every single day. In days we don't work, when it's raining and stuff, me and the Julio, we still put in work. Yeah, putting up signs, signing out uh, flyers, cards, door hangers. Doing all kinds of stuff to get our brand out there. Yeah, so you know, when you start working for yourself, if your phone's not ringing and you don't have jobs on the list, you still have stuff to do. All kinds of things to do, visit realtors, you know, do whatever you have to do, put up door hangers, put up signs to get your phone to ring. 
And we got some cool stuff in the back too. We got some dumbbells, some exercise equipment. We'll donate. So this was a good paying job. It was a great job. And we're going to have uh, things that we can definitely for sure donate, things we could sell. And one of the things about this business when you first start is you might find yourself bringing tons of stuff home because you'll often show up to a job and you'll be so surprised that they're actually paying you to take this great stuff away. Now, Julio, did you see anything back there you want to keep? No, I'm okay today. You okay I mean, there's, today? There's a lot of good stuff, but no, I can't. <laughs> now, one thing too, here's a little gold nugget. Whenever you come across any exercise equipment, you can stop at Play It Again Sports and resell the stuff. We actually sold some dumbbells last week, what, some 40s and 50s for $84. They'll cash you out. So always keep your eyes open for stuff you can resell and make that extra cash. Just like that, we just donated a bunch of stuff and we dumped the rest and it was $35 to dump all that stuff. And I love it when we get jobs like that. Now we're gonna talk about one of the most important things you need in this business. And that's having confidence. When you show up to a job and you give a price, you wanna give it with confidence. Yeah, and confidence is so important. And when you first start your business, it's something you might be lacking but you need to make sure you have confidence when you're meeting customers and having a conversation. When you're giving a price, you wanna do that with confidence. And really anything in life, you gotta work on your confidence. Confidence will get you really far in life. So now we're heading to the next job. Are you guys ready? Yes, we're ready. Let's do it. Now Julio, drop that beat. Now we're heading to the next job, about to get paid, gotta manifest it every single day, uh, gotta have that confidence, gotta make them Benjamins, yeah, it's all about confidence. <laughs> of the day and this person is a repeat customer and when you first start this business it will take you some time to start getting your repeat customers but once you get them they'll use you for life and look how beautiful this place is found us by our decals on our truck. So you want to make sure that when you start this business, you have decals on your truck so people know what you're doing and how to contact you. Just like that, job is complete, and damn, that was a hard-ass job. We had to throw that couch off the balcony, but we still did it and got paid. Now let's talk about one of the most hardest things to learn in this business. It's the biggest struggle if you just start doing this, is pricing jobs. And pricing jobs is a learning experience, and you will make mistakes for sure when you first start. But the more you do it, the better you will get at pricing jobs. So just keep going 
hit them with that price and see how many jobs you can land. And just remember, when you show up to a job and you charge them $500 or $600, you're not making that much money. You got payroll, you got gasoline, you got insurance, you got dump fees, your time. So don't think you made that much money off the job. Plus you owe taxes. So you got to make sure you hit them with that price to where you make that profit. So don't just think you're making $500 off a $500 job. Now, Julio, what's your prediction of the dump fee on this one back here? $85. He said $85 and Jojo? Um, 65. $65, you know what? Mr. Matt Vick's gonna win, and I got $100 on it. It's gonna be $59. Okay. You guys wanna bet? Your tip money, what's up? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, all right. Bet's on, and JoJo, if I win, you're gonna rub my feet, lick my corns, and pop my back. <laughs> How's that sound? Gross and nasty. And my bunions, too. <laughs>
wherever your donation centers are at so you can drop stuff off and lighten your load. Also find out where every scrap yard is in your area because a lot of things that they take is a lot cheaper than the landfill. Now, just like that, we're done for the day. And JoJo, we made a killing, didn't we? Today was a great day. And if you guys want to buy some merchandise, look down below for some hauling and balling gear. And if you snap a picture and send it to me and the JoJo, we'll put you in a video. And hopefully you love this information. If you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.